Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So I've been waiting for them to stop the yard work, but um, it's not stopping. So if you can hear it, I do apologize for that. Um, anyway, today is another um, adult coloring for beginners. This is part six. And I am going to be showing you some coloring journals, um, or I, I call them coloring journals. You can also call them a coloring planner. Um, yes, I need to tell you, number one, I am a very, very organized person. Um, organizing is actually something I enjoy doing. I know I'm weird, but it relaxes me. So, um, when I have everything organized and planned out and everything, I'm much happier. So for me, as you all know, if you are some of my seasoned friends, if you're new, welcome. Um, I color a lot of pages every month. I do a lot of buddy colors. I have a lot of project books. And there's no way I could keep track of that all off the top of my head. So I literally write everything down. I write down um, my buddy colors. I write down my project books. I write down some um, hashtags and prompts, challenges. Um, I write down what I've colored, what I used, the date etc 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 so for this video I thought I'd show you some different options for coloring journals if you are interested in that um, I have three here when I first started in the coloring journey I um, started out with um, dot grid so what I mean by dot grid is I don't know if you can you see the dots it's not a very big, you can get them, they come in all different sizes. Um, I get, this one is the Paper Studio, which I believe is Michael's. And you can get them in all different sizes. But this is what I originally used. And um, I like to draw and doodle. So this one was 2023. And as you can see, it has my buddy colors, my coloring books, my completed pages, social media. Here was my books to complete eventually. And then here starts the month. I tried to do 23 goals, but I couldn't think of any. I always put a calendar in it. And then here is, I put my completed pages. So you've got your book title, how many pages you colored at that moment, what you used, and the date. And then this little box here is just for me, not every, most people don't do this. Actually, I don't really know anybody else that does this. Is I put a hidden Mickey in all of my finished pages. And so when I'm going through getting it ready for my completed pages video, um, it also, I check it off also to make sure I have the book and the page ready to show you. Um, but yeah. So then... I have all my buddy colors set up and I number them. I have two check boxes. So for example, this is the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. That's a group. This is was back in January. It's a big group now. I have this box is that I colored it. And then this box over here is that I shared it on social media. I'm not very good at that. As you can see, I did not check almost all the, lots of the boxes. Um, then I keep track of all of the challenges and prompts that I am interested in. And that doesn't mean I have to do them. It's just ones that I have found that I am interested in. And then I check them off if I complete them. And then I always have a notes page. And then at the very end of the month, I do my end of the month stats, which I write down all of the videos and how many. I write down for me, all the social media stats. 
And then down here, I keep track of how many completed pages, how many coloring books, how many untouched coloring books I color in, how many people I buddy color with, and how many pages, because it's different. Some people have multiple pages. How many challenges and prompts I actually complete. And then how many Disney, it's just for me, how many Disney pages I colored in that month. So that was January. Here we have February. I did a little bit more decorating. I used washi tape on the edges of the pages. And again, we have, it's the same. I do the same thing every single month. This is March. I didn't use the notes pages very much, as you can see. So I got all the way through July, and then I had room to do some more months, but I got a new book, a new m way of doing things. And um, that is a happy planner. Now this is uh, a lot bigger than the one I was using. So I'll have a lot more space, as you can see. I believe it's like five by nine or something like that. I guess I could tell you, I'm sure, well, I know I have a ruler. It is This is seven and a half by, it's seven and a half by nine and a half. So seven by nine basically, because the cover is what I measured, not the papers. But this one is, um, it's a Disney one. It has a little Minnie Mouse on it. And then I get to decorate it more and I can add in and take away pages. So for example, um, this is a dashboard that I made. Um, I just used some stickers and some uh, papers that I had and some of them was given to me as some Happy Mail and some washi tape just to make a cover. And then here I have my, um, just a folder and this is to keep track of what my gel pens look like so that I know all the different ones that I have. Then I have my books to complete. So here we have, these were originally my books to complete, but now let me just tell you, this is a project book. This one is, this one is, this one is, this one is. Most of them have turned into project books. And then here are some other additional project books, which I said I have, so I keep track. I have a lot. Here we have um, full book color alongs that I have joined. I need to add in the, um, the doggy doodles one. Here is my pencils versus paper test that I was doing originally. Um, I have switched it. Actually, I have made a decision. Um, it doesn't seem to be a very popular video. And it takes me a lot of time. I know now I have a whole bunch of whips that I need to complete. But unless requested, um, I'm no longer going to be doing pencil versus paper tests. Unless you guys request some. But um, I'd rather film and do other fun videos for you that you guys enjoy. So here, um, this says, oh, these are my hashtags. So this is where I keep track of all of my hashtags that I host or co-host. Um, the shows, um, we do a scavenger hunt. Um, I did my collection video that was a while back. And then I have some extra papers. And so then um, starts, I made this dashboard um, 2023. So here we had the 2023 wrap up, which I need to put in here. 
Here I had my monthly uh, stats for YouTube, my quarterly coloring book stats, and then starts a month. So here you have the monthly calendar. Um, the, the bows are when I post videos and then I write birthdays in here and different things. Then I was doing it like a planner. So that's how I started it out. And then here starts my completed pages, which I did the exact same thing. I do the box for my hidden Mickey, the title, how many pages, what I used, and the date. And um, then we have our buddy colors, challenges and prompts, and then my end of the month wrap up. Now I have changed things up a bit. Let's go to March. Yes, let's do March. So this is last month's. Um, I have fun decorating the calendar. Actually, now let me show you when I've half done. This one. So um, I started, instead of planning, I started um, printing out, I have sticker paper, because um, I used to make my own stickers. Um, sometimes I still do. And I printing out all of my buddy colors for the month and then sticking them on these pages. Um, and then I write what book and who it's with just to keep track. So it's more like a scrapbook. Now, October is the last month um, that I have printed. Um, I'm working on November's. <laughs> I know I'm way behind. So back to March. So again, there's the calendar. Then um, I changed up my completed pages. I was originally, when I wrote the title, how many pages, and what I used, all of that, then I um, would go back for my completed pages and I would rewrite it all out with all of the details like buddy colors, hashtags, all of that. And it would take forever. So um, Amanda from Amanda Colors, who is absolutely amazing, um, she did hers a little bit like this. So I asked her, I said, "Can I? do you mind if I try that? And she's like, no, not at all. And um, she actually, before I move on, she has a Kofi. Um, if I can, I will try to link it in the description box below. And she actually has created Happy Planner pages um, for coloring journals um, that you can purchase on her Kofi. So she has it all set up and ready for you so you don't have to do any of this like I do. I enjoy this, so that's why um, I do it. I'm, I enjoy using my stickers and my washi tape and all of that fun stuff. But anyway, so instead of my old ways, I still have my hidden Mickey box. And then I have the um, title of the book. And then here tells me how many pages that I colored at that moment. So I only colored one page. And then what I used, the hashtags, if there's a buddy color who it's with, um, if it's in my, one of our Facebook group prompts, if it's an untouched coloring book, all of that, I write it down so that I have it so I don't have to rewrite it all. So when I do my completed pages, it's all right here. Then I write the date I completed it. And then this is whether or not I share it on um, Instagram or Facebook. Okay, I have ink all over me. I don't know how, but it is underneath my nails. I really don't know how that happened. Anyway, so like another example is this is the Disney Small Squares portrait book and I colored multiple pages. So now I know that um, I colored, sorry, excuse me. Mm. I colored six pages and um, at this moment, at that date and then what I used 
Now, sometimes I use different things on each page. And so if I do that, then I um, will write the book um, down twice. Um, let me see if I can give you an example of that. Okay, so floating mandalas here. So I did one for my, um, for Amanda's challenge, her AC palette challenge. So I wrote it for that. And then I did one for my mandala challenge and I did one for that. So yeah. Then I have, um, my full book buddy color project books. So this page, I basically copy every month. And, um, again, I have my box that I completed it. Um, and then this box is whether or not I shared it on Instagram, which I did. So I did not mark that, but I did share this Well, I shared it with my group. I did this one too. Anyway, so that's just the project books. And then here I write my additional buddy colors with other people and random books. We have our challenges and prompts, which as you can see has gotten a lot smaller and that is due to doing so many buddy colors. I have a really hard time getting to other things. I have a page for my Facebook group info. If you did not know, I'm gonna show it to you because this is last month. If you did not know, um, I have a Facebook group that I co-host with Amanda from Amanda Colors. It is called Color With Us, and then it has three exclamation points at the end. And we do all sorts of fun things. Um, we do a weekly scavenger hunt. We have two. We have a Disney one and a general prompt. And then we do title page Tuesdays every Tuesday. So you color a title page and you post it. We do have a full book um, buddy color going in that group out of Magic Jars by Coloring Book Cafe. We have, um, we share new finds, we share freebies, we have, I want to say Whip Wednesdays, I believe is what it is, Whip Wednesdays, yes, I believe that's what it is, but yeah, so if you're not a part of our group, we'd love to have you join us. Um, my video ideas coloring books that I purchased. That's something new that I write down. And then here is my end of the month um, stats. Again, I still write down all of my uh, videos. I do my social media stats. And then I do my completed pages, coloring books, untouched books, challenges and prompts, Disney pages, buddy color people, and buddy color pages. So that was March and then March was the first quarter. So I have a quarterly update and now we're to this month and we are in the middle of the month. I believe today is the 18th that you will be seeing this video. I went with a Bambi theme, as you can see. I know I've already showed this um, and then I saved some. I don't know how many pages I need. So I saved some in here. And then um, I have my completed pages that I'm working on. As you can see, it's the 18th. I've already done 29 pages. I know, yikes. And then we have our my buddy colors, um, my project books, my buddy colors, my challenges and prompts. I did a lot, I wrote a lot more down. There was a lot of good ones this month. My Facebook group info, video ideas, notes, coloring books I purchased, and then my end of the month. So, and this is just dot grid paper that I purchased on Amazon. Um, it comes pre-punched and everything, um, even though I do have the Happy Planner Punch, which you can purchase the Happy Planner Punch. And then here is a blank month, and it has all the weeks which I don't leave in there. And then I add the other pages and then it goes through. So I went from August through July and then I have a new one planned out to start in um, August. So I'm going to go back to March. Um, now the calendar, I like to have this just for dates 
but you know you can use this as your weekly planner and then you don't have to have two things if you don't like writing things down um, I know a lot of people use their calendars on their phones I like to have it in both places because I tend to remember it better if I write it down I don't really know why don't ask me why and then I do have these fun little um, dashboards that were made by Happy Planner and I just put a piece of tape and I wrote on it so I know where my buddy colors are and I move these each month but yeah so if you are a fellow youtuber or you're ever wanting to start your own YouTube channel I highly recommend having one of these because it really helps with completed pages also it helps with if you're posting it on Instagram and you don't have time to post it at that very moment you can go back and um, see what you have done that way you can put that in your description of the picture so that now these are both homemade planners well I mean this comes but basically I create everything myself this one is really blank so you really have to make everything by yourself so that is two ways and then there is a third way which is this is the only one I have I know there's others. I know there's one called a color coloring companion. Um, I know there's one, I believe, um, the one, the color cube, Sarah Renee Clark. I think she has one that she has created that you can purchase. But this one is um, by Colorful Diary. Um, she sells these. Um, she is on Instagram, so you should check her out. And this is her first time to create one. And I do have a whole video on showing you what this is. Um, but it right away, it's your coloring journal and it has the year. And in the beginning here, you have room to put all of your fun um, information, your name, your email, all your social medias. It's very cute. So here you have a place for books you want to complete, books you'd like to touch, and she gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven. So right away um, there. Here you have finished works in progress, um, some PDFs, some whole year color alongs. Then you have your month. You have your purchases for the month. Um, here are color alongs, so your hashtag challenges or prompts, your buddy color alongs, and then you have your completed pages, which she gives you a box for the book, the mediums, and the date. Now, there's only two pages, so those of you who know me, seasoned friends, the reason I don't use this is I color too many pages this even if I divided these boxes in half I still color too many pages um, but yeah so you can get one that's pre-printed and you don't have to do anything at all but write in it and then there is also you can get um, digital planners I know they have those everywhere um, I believe there's apps. Um, there was one. Let's see, I downloaded the app. Good Notes. I believe people use Good Notes for um, planners and creating your planners, um, things like that. So, yeah. And I know there's a new app that they have on your phone, a journaling app, if you have an iPhone. Um, I don't have my phone to show you. But yeah, that is my, I know this one is my versions of different types of coloring journals that, um, which I recommend if you are planting to join in on this fun hobby um, it's a good way to keep track of everything and to get more involved and 
yeah, so you don't uh, forget. It's a good way to keep your life organized and you don't have to use these for just coloring. You can just do it for your life in general. Um, I'm a huge fan of planners. Um, I used to use an Erin Condren every year, but um, I like the Happy Planner because you can basically create your own version of what you want. You can take pages in and out, um, things like that. Um, they also sell the stuff in um, stores, but I mostly shop online. I, I just shop off of the Happy Planner website. Um, but I believe Michael sells Happy Planner stuff, or they used to. Um, Hobby Lobby used to, or I don't know if they still do. I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't shop very often. Um, I don't get out, of, I don't leave my house very often. Um, I stay home and I enjoy that. And um, yeah. I just, you know, I can shop online just as easy and it comes right to my house. I know it feels like that's lazy, but um, it's just something I need to work on. Um, but anyway, that's too much information, I know. But yeah, let me know if you guys do a coloring journal and what kind of journal you guys use. Do you create your own? Do you use a pre-printed one? I know there's another one on... Um, Amazon that you can get. Oh, uh, Joanna Basford has a planner. Um, that one definitely is not big enough for me. Um, and then there's one, I like I said, I think it's called the Coloring Companion. Couldn't tell you who it's by. But yeah. Anyway. So yeah. And then you can, you don't have to use, you can use a lined book, a spiral book. You can it's, you know, it's, it's whatever you like and you prefer. I just highly recommend writing things down. Um, especially the older you get, the more you forget. Yes, I do know that. And if you go, go through anything, um, traumatic, um, for example, my mom dying, um, and going through all of that has really affected my memory. Um, and I know that's part of grief, but I'm just saying. So writing things down, it really, really helps. So yeah, if you're new and you made it through, thank you and welcome. We'd love to have you join us. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of our family. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up that you like this video and comment down below. Again, share with us if you'd do a um, coloring journal and um, if you create your own or if you use a pre-printed one or where you found it, that way we can um, start a fun conversation in the comments below. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions regarding any of these, um, you can always uh, put it in the comments below. I will do the best I can to answer. I cannot link anything in the comments so you guys know, um, but I can, um, you can message me on Instagram and I can give you links. You can email me. Um, you could also message me on Facebook and I would be happy to help you out. I do not mind if you use my ideas. If you want to totally copy what I do, I am totally fine with that. Um, I am happy, happy, happy to help. So yeah, anyway, anywho, but yeah, I so enjoy l making these videos and talking to all of you. I guys want you guys to know you all mean the world to me. So this was my last beginners video that has to do with showing you things. So starting my next one, which um, it might not be till next month, but if not, it'll be next week. Um, we will be starting to do more tutorial type um, videos, how to types. Um, and we will start with color pencils. So um, yeah, I'll be showing you all different like shading, pressures, different types of things with color pencils. We will go from there. So yeah, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Again, like I said, I enjoy talking to you and I look forward to talking to you all real soon.